All right, so it's currently 8:12. We are on our way trying to find the Fairfax County car meets that happen on Mondays. Today's Memorial Day. We salute you. Uh, and right now, I'm trying to figure out where exactly it is they have the meet. I was told that it was at the Walmart in Fairfax, but at the same time, I'm like, well, the building looks right. I don't see any cars. So I'm kind of wondering where we're supposed to be going. I will check back in with you guys when we finally find the car meet. So, wish me luck trying to find the spot. Yeah, I remember this guy from uh, Nova Subarus. He brought this out. Awesome. And he thinks I'm lying when I say this is one of the cleanest Honda Civic engine bays I've ever seen. <laughs> Belief or disbelief? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have more uh, piping soon, hopefully. There you go. That turbo. Still, this is sick. And the Honda ECU. 
Looking good, bro. Stock ECU with the reflash. That's what I got. It's fully tuned. Yeah. Man. Love to see what this feels like on the road someday. How do I? This thing is clean. I love the wheel. So my co-host would love these wheels. He Art in Motion, which is a smaller three-piece wheel company, but you don't see many of them. Gotcha. Talk me through it, man. I like. That's actually carbon fiber. Carbon fiber fender. Yes. Golf R bumper. Oh yeah, that sticks that's, out a lot more. It's got some go fast bits. It's like 330 wheel horsepower. Dang, dude. So in other words, don't pull up on this guy and try to race him at the stop. Like, he's, he's gonna get you. No, it's, yeah, it's pretty quick. The fronts are nine and a half. The rears are eight and a half. Really? Yeah. Oh man. So that's still that's clean, man. Tell us your name, bro. Byron Villanueva. All righty, what you got? I luckily found my somewhat of a dream car, Mopar 11 Charger. It's so hard to see because it's dark, but it is a queen car. Let's just put that on record. Yeah, so far, I was, luckily I found it in a decent condition considering it was used. I got it at 10,000 miles, got it down to $28,000 to get it out of the dealership. Jeez. And it is a collector's car. Out of 1,500, it is the 47th one made. Wow. That's and a so, to make sure and approve it, she has it on the placard right next to the passenger side. Dang, the proof is in the pudding, boys. Today, Moreno, trying to drive a uh, TRD Sion TC. I was lucky to find. Uh, right now, it's pretty much stock with the TRD upgrades on it. Okay. And I'm, I'm just waiting on some parts, the intake, intake manifold. Pretty much the whole engine assembly? Yeah, pretty much. Gotcha. Hold on, that's some dark tin, homie. Yeah, it's 35. It's not, you know. It's a little bit illegal, but you know, <laughs> you gotta, you it all depends on your home. area. <laughs> Let's see this. That's go. Hold on. That's going on this car. That's too funny. <laughs> Are you actually an Uber driver? Okay. I was like, hold on. Like, I need to know this. Like, can this actually be an Uber car? We need. We, I, I, it came sooner than I thought, so I kind of need to work with you on that. All right. There you go. You gotta shout it out, bro. What's going on, man? It's your boy, Gautam Maliga. You already know what it is. Go this ahead guy. and follow that, that channel down in the description below. I'm here. <laughs> we out here. This thing's cool, dude. Thanks, man. The question is, how long did it take to install the neon? The neon? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I not. It took three hours. Are you serious? So serious. Dang, dude. And it was ghetto rig, too. They have, like, this fuse you're supposed to use as, like, an adapter. But I got the wrong size. So I had to actually, like, hardwire it to the car. That's too funny. Okay, so that S13 is uh, going to the grave. That's a lot of oil. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, man. This makes me cry. Diff, engine oil. Needless to say, I'm pretty sure that engine's disappearing. Hey, hey, hey. Just saying, I'm pretty sure it did. Did you really? Are you there? Bro, I'll do it. On camera. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that was nice. Also so, how quickly do you think you're going to keel over? Come on, it was like a drop. <laughs> I'm only playing, dude. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at that downforce, boys. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. That's flipping great, dude. Dude, that, that shoe test has now been up to that arm test. Yep. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Dale. Yo. Can we see that again? <laughs> That's so entertaining. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tire is close to the spring. Man. Oh, really? Yeah. If you, if you go all the way in, put your hand in there, there's almost no clearance between your fingers and the spring. There's no clearance between the spring. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, uh, speed bump, officer. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, let's see this thing start up. Oh, well, hey, the fans work. This thing's so ridiculous, dude. I accidentally almost took this guy out. I let a guy put my car in first, and uh, yeah, I almost killed this up today. How's it's that feel? It's all right. I'm fine. If I'm gonna get killed by a car, I want it to be an Evo, so. <laughs> That's why you gotta buy a Subaru, I'm not complaining. Dude. These Evo drivers are 
<laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> he pulled up and I thought for a second that it was a 3000 GT. I was like, no way. Let's do one thing straight, right? I just bought this today. It's already locked up on the front. I don't even know if I can get out of here. It's this way. Right? <laughs> I, like, I, I genuinely, like, I, like, I, I, I have to go drop him off of his car. I could just have to push this thing. That's like, too funny. I don't even know. But just picked it up today. Uh, 94 SVX. It's got an 04 WRX transmission because it came automatic and automatic. Um, Evo 10 quad tips. Three inch cat back, all the things down pipe, all that good stuff. Uh, Let's just put it in perspective though. It's an, uh, I know you can't see because it it's dark out here, but it's SBX. Not sex. I know it looks like it. <laughs> I don't even go in there. I'm just saying, like, this the fact that one of these exists in Nova oh, yeah. is unbelievable. So it's the next day. Uh, when we left, it was 11 30. We ended up talking to some guys there at the very end. I didn't really feel the ton towards the end of the actual meet. But we definitely had a great time. I can't wait to go back out there again. I won't be able to make it every Monday, but most Mondays we'll try and make it out. Right now we're on our way to clean off this car because she's filthy! And it's just driving me nuts because the car is yellow, so you can definitely see it. And you can definitely tell that it's, uh, yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for saying what's up. Again, huge shout out to Joseph Rizzo for the invitation to come on out there. We met him at Nova Subarus. Really nice guy, and I appreciate his time and effort in getting that car meet to what it is now. Just awesome guy, great times. Can't wait to go back. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We have other stuff planned coming up pretty soon, actually, so definitely stay tuned. Like and subscribe. And make sure you hit the bell for notifications that we can keep up with what we're doing here on this show. We love and appreciate all you guys. And as always, God bless, and we'll see you on another episode. Peace. Single jingle. <laughs> we'll see who's a better driver. Oh, 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 oh the shit. trash talk begins. Oh, oh. Because he got a faster car. And an R35 showed up. Yay. Hey, what's up, man? Follow me on Instagram. What's your Instagram, bro? Catch me on the track. How about that? Oh, say that again. <laughs> Catch me on the racetrack. How about that? Catch me on the bottom side of these nuts. How about that? Oh, this guy. <laughs> What your raisins? <laughs> oh, wow! This is going up. in. This is going to the blooper section. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> no, no. Okay. All right.